So in a previous video, you teased out the service tag from this Coreline High Bay Generation 4 fitting from Signify. Can you go into a bit more detail for me, Gordon? Okay, well, before we dive into the service tag, let's just think about how we used to maintain lights, Gary. Back in the old days, you'll remember them. Um, so, do you remember these? Yes, I do. So, lamps, yeah, when, when light was produced by hot glass objects. Yes. Um, it was easy, wasn't it? Because lots of people made lamps. This is a 250 watt lamp. I probably had a few supplies to choose from. If something went in the fitting there, we have an igniter. Yeah, big lump of iron. Yeah. A few companies made them. It's quite easy to maintain the fitting. We now move to LED, things have changed. Okay, so what you're really trying to say there is that we're not gonna, in this fitting, get in and look at those components, but we may still need to replace it, maybe in a warehouse like this, and make sure it matches the other fittings within it. And you're saying the service tag will help us in that instance? Yeah, so the service tag is dead easy. You know, say imagine you know, somebody's damaged a fitting or it, you might have had a premature failure for something, you need to do some maintenance. Well, the problem with LED is you don't necessarily know what that fitting is because let's say this is generation four. Yeah. Yeah, there's three generations before it. By the time it comes to maintenance, we could be on generation 24. Right, okay. So this service tag now works on your phone, is that right? You see you picked it up? Yeah, pick the phone. I've downloaded the Signify service tag app. Okay. And then dead easy, I just hover above the service tag QR code okay. and it brings up all of the details about this fitting. That quickly? That quickly. Wow, so that's not, not a phone call, not searching a website. From that one QR code, we're now into all of these uh, information about this Generation 4 fitting. Can you give us some examples? Yeah, so this straight away, I know this is a 10,000 lumen output, okay. 69 watts, and it's the 90 degree beam angle version. And that's relevant because there must be other ones in the Generation 4 that are slightly different, is that true? You might have had different color temperatures, different lumen outputs, right. different beam angle. So if I was gonna replace that with a, an equivalent part, I could then identify it. And the, the good thing about this, all this information stored on the cloud. Right. So I'd guess the boffins at uh, Signify, you know, will update this. Obviously, if this product is discontinued and as a suggested alternative, okay. that probably find on there. But I can find, you know, those original instructions. All right, okay, yep, that we may not have kept with the light fitting or with the service manager. Yeah, I can go straight in there and find the uh, instruction installation manual. Right. So I can see that. Uh, if this was a maintainable part and had some accessories, I can find a list of spare parts and accessories to go with the product. So if this was a different light fitting then, and say it had a, I don't know, a driver on it, are you telling me that once you scan the code, maybe it could give you maybe a troubleshooting and maybe some information about the driver that might be a common thing to be replaced? Yeah, so when this was, uh, the service tag was originally developed, uh, it was put out on street lighting products first. Okay, makes sense. And uh, street lighting products, you, there's some configurability in the driver. So you might go up a site and the driver, although it says 70 watts, yeah. may have been configured slightly differently in that fitting. So again, get that information from the service tag. And I think when they did it in the street uh, lighting or street furniture, wasn't the code low down so we didn't have to go up and scan and come back down again, was it to save time as well? Yeah, so people use it in different ways. So people, some, yeah, you can put that on the bottom of the column, in the column at the bottom. So yeah, you, you're not going up and down like a, like a pog, on a pogo stick to, uh, to, to find out that information, only to have to come down again. Okay, so that's, that's really good then. So we, we'll get a like for light replacement. So we've got 10 light fittings in an area and you scan one of them. Would it be able to tell you what the other nine light fittings in that area were doing as yeah, well? Yeah, so the great thing is when you do the installation, you can register the product to a location. You oh, can right. create a location and group them there. So this, this factory unit we're in here, we create that as one unit. We could just yeah, go into our app, find out even before we went to site what's installed there. So if there was two or three light fittings over a period of time, maybe the maintenance hadn't been done and, and you were gonna maybe take over the building, you scan one of them and you could see maybe quite clearly that all the ones in that area were the same fitting, so you order three and replace the three. Yeah. So we can almost say that that uh, QR code and the ability to scan it can save electricians time, Gordon, can't we? It's a great feature. And we like that at eFix.